what's going on guys black scout survival and today i got a knife review for you and this is the survive knives gso 4.7 this is a pre-production model <clears throat> guys sent out i believe 30 of them to various people to test uh this new steel that he's using and uh he wouldn't tell us what it is so i have no idea what the steel is um but regardless uh, my use is just held up really really well um, and the edge is still phenomenally sharp after all the batoning through oak and stuff like that that I've been doing um, this one has you know just a, a little bit of a wider blade than the 4.1 a little bit longer and this is like to me one of the most perfect all-around knives in the sense that it is uh you know just a good well-rounded survival knife so you know you can use it for a lot of different applications and it's light now if you've seen the 5.1 you'll know about the uh, hardware changes and i really like that for these uh, uh bits here that he's went to um this model features a austria fde uh flat dark earth coating so has a very very good look to it um <clears throat> i like the fde color uh that's what i have my rifle set up in my ar-15 um this one has uh, like an od green uh micarta scales and even the the cerakote has held up really really well um from all the work i've done to it it just has you know uh, tree um gook on it is, is all but no no wearing now one thing that i noticed immediately when i put this knife in my hand is that he removed some of the uh, handle material here that he, he normally on his other models he had and you know it really makes it a lot more ergonomic because in your hand how you hold a knife um you know you're you have a, a wider separation between your palm and, and your uh, forefinger versus your pinky so there's a fuller grip back here on the pinky so it really gives a good lock up and this is probably honestly one of the best ergonomics I've felt on a knife um, in my history of using knives uh, when I put it in my hand it just like locked in you know feels really really good in the hand now like I said this is a mystery steel um, I'm anxious to see what it is um, because it held it really well and and the way like you know he was making it sound on his post is that we're going to be sh surprised as to what still this is apparently he's figured out some way to improve uh, upon some, uh, a steel so and you know his stuff like the 5.1 if you've seen that video that thing was awesome and it's got you know just a lot more upgrades from the old 5.1 and he just keeps improving. And right now, you know, these products he's putting out now, I think is about perfection in the sense of uh, knife making um, and, and custom knife make, or pro, I'm sorry, production knife making. The other thing is, is that you can't beat the value. <clears throat> now, albeit there's a waiting list, but that's, that, that means, you know, his knives are in high demand. They work. Um, so, you know, that, that's just the fact of the matter, you know, uh, things that are in high demand usually take a while to get so that's just what it is and, and they're in high demand for good reason because they're phenomenal knives they're some of the best survival knives i've ever used and for the price uh you know the other makers and, and to me they don't even come close because uh they're fit and finish in the same as good as survive but if you look at swamp swamp rack um boosie um scrapyard you know they're charging more than than these knives and they don't come with sheaths and they uh the fit finish it in there the ergonomics sit in there uh, i'm going to be reviewing a <coughs> a swamp rat soon that i recently acquired and uh you know i just i wasn't happy with it. i don't i don't know what all the huss and, and fuss is about but anyhow guys definitely awesome knife and uh probably my, my, my favorite in the in the uh, survive lineup the 4.7 I think it's just a good all-around field knife um, I can you know carry it without weighing me down it can do most tasks you know um, and it, it just feels phenomenal and like I said I love the, this coating I hope he continues with that some of you that may have not seen the 5.1 video this is the new 
Uh, she's just kind of a slimmer profile, you know, not as wide as the uh, older models. It has a taco, so it's a fold over, which I really do like. Um, has the same clipping system, so it's pretty much universal with pals or belts and stuff like that. And just clips on it. Like I'll even clip it on the inside of my back pocket and have the knife riding in my back pocket, you know. <clears throat> but I uh, really do like that sheath. Good Kydex work. Anyhow, guys, that is it. That is the uh, pre-production sample I received of the 4.7. I'm going to try to get a uh, one of the uh, other models, the uh, CPM3V or CPM20V, and test it as well. He's always had great, phenomenal work with those steels, so um, I look forward to seeing that, especially in this uh, 4.7 model, which is uh, <clears throat> great. So anyhow, guys, like, like I said, man, you, you can't go wrong with Survive. I love everything they're putting out great job on this 4.7 and uh oh yeah one thing before i forget um, a lot of guys will ask about this will it strike a fair cm rod and yes it will so it will do that i know that was a concern back in the day for those people that like to use their knives for ferro rod strikers instead of cutting stuff up so there <laughs> there you go it, it will work so anyhow guys hope you enjoyed this video if uh, you got any comments or questions, leave them in the box below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we put out a few new videos every week. And as always, thanks for watching.